So today we're going to be looking at a pretty basic and well-known technique in the two-on-one tilt from two-time All-American Greg Kirkfleet. He was able to hit a two-on-one tilt four times in this match. And the special thing about it is he was able to get to that position even after his opponent was already based out, which is something I know that a lot of wrestlers have a problem with. So let's look at exactly what he did. First, he grabs the opponent's hand with the same side arm. Not his wrist, his hand. He brings it across to a cross wrist. It's a two-on-one. Now, notice that his weight is on him the entire time while he's trying to get the two-on-one. But once he gets it, he lets his hips up. So he's able, so his opponent is able to come up a little bit just so he can get the two-on-one grip to his belly button. He takes it over. Now that knee is up, which means that the bottom of his shoe is on the mat. It is, his knee is not flat on the mat. His knee is up facing the ceiling. And in the perfect world, this is the position of his back leg. But as you'll see in this clip, if everything else is right, then the position of that back leg is pretty flexible. He lets go to get his back points. Again, he grabs his hand, brings it across to a cross wrist. Now, he just did this move. So his opponent, being a decent wrestler, is going to adjust to it. His adjustment is by exaggerating letting his hip down. Now, Kirk Flick decided not to go this route. I'm not sure if, if it's because he's a heavyweight or he felt that it wasn't necessary. But a good defense to this is actually rolling the other way. Let's look at a clip of Mark Hall doing it to eventual two-time All-American Devin Skaska. <laughs> And so he was looking for the two on one, and then when he came back up to his knees, that's when he's going to go ahead and work with the tilt. So, so once you have that two on one grip, you can take it both ways. But Kirkfoot just decided to keep it basic and do the same thing. He was still able to, I won't say muscle him over, but he's obviously stronger than this guy. Let's it go to get his four points. Again, grabs, the, grabs his hand, not his wrist, brings it over to a cross wrist, two on one grip. And why I found this match so interesting, because it's not like the guy's tired, right? It's just the first two minutes of the match. Again, same thing. Grabs the meat of his hand. Brings it over to a cross wrist. Two on one. He's able to get the first period tech, tech fall and win the match 18 and zero. You don't, you don't see too many heavyweights putting up points like that. So I just wanted to highlight that. Practice a two-on-one tilt. Um, it was pretty cool because he was able to do it when the opponent was flat. A lot of guys, I know when I was in high school, um, I typically only did this move straight from top and bottom when I was able to get like an arm, an arm chop. Once the opponent was already flattened out, I typically just went to something else. So watching this was a big help. 